Highway 51 running through Hernando has undergone many changes over the decades, shifting from being the main road between Memphis and Jackson when it was built to becoming more of a local route with the completion of Interstate 55. But Velvet Cream Ice Cream has been here through it all, right on the corner of 51 and Northern. It's also known as The Dip. Owner Tommy Flynn says that's a shorthand version of a nickname Velvet Cream was known as. In the 50s, it was known as the Dippy Dog. And when rock and roll quit being rock and roll, they shortened it to rock. They shortened it at the same time to the dip. People, people sign their checks to the dip and it'll go through. The dip has made changes along with Highway 51 over the years, but in more ways than it has, it also hasn't changed. Now, for instance, the way you order your food, you still walk up to the window, just as you have since 1947. We've never gone away from that because it seems like it works. Uh, we have a few pitfalls with it. Uh, in extreme cold weather, it's very slow, but our drive through works. Oh yeah, the drive through That is one innovation Velvet Cream added, and they had one before anyone else. That came in the mid-1970s. Tommy Flynn is proud of it. We had a drive through about six months before the first McDonald's had a drive through I mean, in anywhere. It was in the mid-70s, like nobody had that. There was sort of a new concept. One of the obvious additions that Tommy could have made would have been a dining room. And he decided against it, too much of a break with tradition. And tradition's a big deal in an establishment like this. Ronnie Terry came to work here as a teenager, as she puts it, half a lifetime ago. She sees tradition as a big draw to Velvet Cream. Um, I think it's just because it's been around for so long and it's just the quaint town and it's just a little place that's not the normal, you know, and, and a lot of people like things that are different and we don't go by the book. We do things, what works best for us. We're doing this, I'm doing it the same way I did since 1968, since I started. I haven't changed a thing. Uh, on the grill, our ice cream, our soft serve is exactly the same as it was then. Um, I overdo everything. I overdo our fries. My dad used to get all over me because I made the fries too big. I'm still making the fries too big. Well, one tradition at Velvet Cream is to change the constantly growing number of ice cream flavors they can conjure up. We've got several things on our menu. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, it's huge. We have 258 different flavored shakes, freezes, sundaes, 258 flavors and counting. Every year we add to the menu and it accumulates. You know, I mean, we have, you know, things on the menu as crazy as uh, mule slobber and purple cow and pink elephant. We've got a dirt sundae and uh, rotten log and we have a cow patty. We just brought in a sweet heat. That's very interesting. It's, I would recommend that with chocolate ice cream and you've got You've got the sweetness, you've got the chocolate, and you've got this unbelievable hot heat that hits your the back of your tongue as you're swallowing. It's, it's kind of fun. Tommy Flynn's dad bought the dip in 1962. Tommy got it in 1968. It's it's my hobby. It's it's my whole life. It's my my wife calls it, it's my mistress. <laughs> um, it's everything. It's seven days a week. And it looks as if Velvet Cream is going to be in the family a while longer. In uh, 2009, uh, my son was uh, going to finish his uh, his uh, senior year in college, and um, he came back from Ole Miss, and he said, "I said, well, you get registered." He goes, uh, "I decided I didn't want to do that." I said, "What do you want to do?" He goes, "I want to do what you're doing." I said, well, "We've got to, we've got to grow this business a little more." <laughs> At that time, we had uh, right at less than 100 different flavored shakes. And now we have 258 different flavored shakes. So that is how the business has grown, more than doubling the numbers of flavors of shakes and measuring the history of the business by the numbers of flavors available at any particular time. But in a world where so much has changed, the dip stands out like a beacon on old Highway 51 in Hernando, still like it always has been with the addition of the drive-through and a few hundred more flavors. <laughs>